newly released body camera footage shows police combing through a home in Enoch as they soon discovered it was the scene of a murder-suicide that left eight members of the same family dead. Tonight, police are out with their final report on the crime. New special Sandra Adams live now with an update. Andrew? Well, this is coming out more than three months after the killings. The final report shows that Michael Haight's wife expressed concerns about herself and the safety of the kids when she filed for divorce just days before the murder-suicide. It was January 4th, and police had been called out to this home on a welfare check. When nobody answered out front, officers later entered through an unlocked door in the garage. The Exeter Police Department. And it wasn't long before they confirmed something awful had happened there. Cedar 673 prioritize this channel. I have two deceased on the bed. I'm going to clear the home. Along with body camera footage, Enoch police are now releasing the final report of the investigation that began that day. Uh, we got another one deceased right here. Officers discovered five children dead, along with their mother, Tasha Haight. Did you find the wife? Uh, yeah. Police learned Tasha had filed for divorce from husband Michael, and Michael killed her their kids, and Tasha's mom. It's got another dead body. This is Michael here. Michael ultimately turned the gun on himself. Go. Go, 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 go. Officers found the dead in various bedrooms in the house. Most were discovered laying in their beds. Yeah, city police department. The final report outlined several additional details that further point to a pattern of control and emotional abuse, including that one of the daughters apparently had a secret phone hidden in her room to record her dad when he would act crazy. The report also included numerous statements from friends and others that suggested a variety of people knew of issues between Tasha and Michael even months prior to the killings. Let's uh, keep everything as pristine as we can. Love up. Well, in a statement that came out with the release of the report and the body camera footage, Enix City officials said they join with all those who are deeply saddened by the tragic incident and express our continued uh, condolences to the family and friends of the victims. Yeah, truly a tragedy. Andrew, thank you. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic violence, know that help is always available, both on the hotlines on your screen. Uh, they are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you can connect to them, and they can connect you to the right resources. We have